OK, welcome to another Programming Exam Solution tutorial. We're going to save the board, and this time we'll look at run length encoding. Uh, I'm assuming that you've got this from the playlist, therefore you know what this is about. I want this to be a really quick one. Uh, there are two other tutorials about saving the game. One for the vector notation, and one for a simple array dump. If you've seen, I'm assuming you've seen those. So, run length encoding. I really, really, really hope you know what that is, because it's going to come up in paper two, probably. Here we've got the array. And we could, rather than having to record 100 characters, we can do it with just this number by saying I've got seven dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got three submarines. What's three S's? One, two, three. Thirteen dashes. But -la -la -la. Okay, you you can see how it works. Now, by far the most important thing is trying to handle this as a 2D array is a nightmare. So we just need to whack it into a string to start with. After we've done that, simply a case of stepping through and just having a counter that works our way through each individual character of the string and just recognising how many of a particular character we've got and reset, writing it and resetting the counter for the next character. Let's have a look at the code. I'm not going to step through it in too much detail. I, I will give you the paste bin link. So, we've got to first of all get the array into a single string make life easy for ourselves once we've got that we're now effectively just going to step through that array this selection statement is effectively saying sorry this part of the selection statement is effectively working our way through and saying if the current character is the same as the next character then we have to increment the number of characters in a row. And at the point where it's not, we need to write it down. Sorry, we need to write it down. We need to put the number down with the that character. And crucially, we need to start the character run again and start the, the process again. There is one slight annoyance. When we get to that last character, if we check the next character, we get an out of range exception. We, the program crashes. So we've just got to make sure that at the last character we don't check again. We just write the current run uh, out with with that with the with the current character. Uh, let's just run it. Obviously, this needs to get called from make player move as usual. So if we go as zero zero, we can see we've got a miss. We've got six dashes. We've got our three submarines, 13 dashes, four battleships, uh, 43 dashes. Uh, oh yeah, one destroyer because of course it's vertical. Four dashes, five aircraft carriers, another destroyer because it's vertical. Six dashes, a patrol boat because it's vertical. Uh, two dashes, a destroyer, six dashes, a patrol boat, and then two dashes at the end. So it's worked. Shall we do um, zero... The wrong way around. One, never mind. Uh, let's do one zero. So we see we've got two misses in a row, five dashes. You can see that's it's updating absolutely perfectly. Uh, I've not particularly shown you that it's written to a file, but it has. Don't want to go into any more detail on this. Obviously, the run length encoding algorithm is really interesting for paper two, and. I would be surprised if it came up on Monday. This looks a, this looks pretty chunky for an hour and a half exam, even for the final question. But I hope that very 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 brief glimpse was useful. Uh, if you've got the link to any of my any of my other paste bins, obviously uh, all my paste bins are public. Uh, this is called Save Gamers RLE, and it is. 
one second. Just so you can see it. Okay. Type that in. You'll get the code. You'll be able to step through it. Hope you found that useful.